Hey guys, so I really hope you enjoyed my cover of Hope by We Came As Romans. Just before I get into teaching you this song, I have a promo running that I teamed up with Sweetwater to make happen, where I'm giving away two $50 gift cards to Sweetwater to be used to get maybe some new sticks or whatever you need on their website. To enter to win one of those gift cards is super simple. All you have to do is go down to the description below, click through the giveaway link, and just follow the instructions on the screen, and you're entered. It's as easy as that, and you have a chance to win one of those gift cards. All right, so with that being said, let's get into learning Hope. So the track Hope is at 135 beats per minute. In this lesson, I'll take you through each section of the song, first at 135, and then I will go back through each section as we progress through at 100 beats per minute, slowing down for you to take a closer look at the individual parts. The time signature for this track is 4-4, and there is no time signature and no tempo changes throughout the entire song. I'm just going to dive right into the demonstrations and just get you learning this track. The first section we're going to check out is the intro. This instrumental is very similar to what you will learn later as the chorus. However, it's just kind of like a half version of it, and it takes us into the first verse fairly quickly. So perform for you to play along to the first section in Hope, the intro, right now. Coming off the intro, moving right along, we come to the second section in the song that we're going to take a look at, and this section I titled Verse 1.1, or the first half of the verse. This section is fairly straightforward, there's nothing really that complex going on here. You're just keeping time on your left foot on the hi-hat pedal, and then you're doing some flams and some stick work, and then some shots on the kick throughout the section, but it's nothing too crazy. So here we go with Verse 1.1, performed for you now. Coming off of verse 1.1, we're going to go into verse 1.2, or the second half of the first verse. This section is just a snare roll. It's very simple again, there's nothing too complicated about this, and we will see this snare roll repeat in verse 2. So once you've learned this, you will be able to take the exact part and move it to verse 2 when the time comes later on here. It's pretty straightforward. The only tough part is on, I guess, like the first pass of accents inside of the first phrase, you're leading with your left hand with the accents, all the while keeping a straight right-handed single stroke lead. So we're just going to be playing Kind of like it's kind of awkward it's a little offset because you have to start with your left hand but once you get through that you're kind of off to the races and you're done with the section so here is verse 1.2 performed for you now Coming out of verse 1.2, the next section we come to is the pre-chorus, and there's nothing really in the pre-chorus, it's really quick, there's just a quick fill, I'm not going to perform it for you, you don't really need me to, you listen to the song and you'll, you'll get that section down really quick. So we'll just move right on to the chorus. The choruses are very similar to that intro, we're just going to sort of elongate it and repeat it a few times, and we're going to add a lot of little fills throughout these choruses. We have a lot of effect symbols. You probably noticed that I added some effect symbols to my kit to make this cover happen, so we are going to be using those effect symbols four times throughout four different fills that are kind of variations on one another inside of this Chorus 1. So here's Chorus 1 performed for you right now.
Coming off of chorus one, we're gonna go into post-chorus one. Post-chorus one is taking the same foot pattern from the chorus and sort of just stretching it out into this next section. All the while, we're gonna be moving the main shots to the hi-hat and then putting crash cymbals on top of the snare drum. And then we have two transition fills that are gonna take us over the center line of the section and then out of the section into the next verse. So here's post-chorus one performed for you now. After post-chorus one, we come to verse 2.1, or the first half of the second verse. We're gonna start this section with kind of a similar pattern to how we started verse one. It's gonna be kind of dropped out and we're just sort of playing a kick snare pattern all the while keeping time with our left foot on the hi-hat. However, in the actual song, there is really no drums in this first little piece. I just played what was the electronic samples on the acoustic kit. So if you decide to play what I played, just follow along with the kick snare pattern that's going on here and you're good with that very first chunk. Then you move into the second chunk where I'm keeping time on the floor tom and that floor tom I added and then I just put some shots on the effect symbols. It can get a little hairy in this section just because we're replacing some of the accents on the smaller symbols. But once you get over that, it's a pretty straightforward section. So here is verse 2.1 performed for you now. Okay, awesome, so coming off of verse 2.1, we're gonna go into verse 2.2, and verse 2.2 is the same as verse 1.2. So all we're gonna do is that same snare roll from before. There's actually no changes here either, so you already have it down. I am gonna perform it though for you because as you probably know by now, I like to move from left to right and get you learning the entire song without skipping any parts so that you can kind of watch us in order of the song. So that's what we're gonna do now. Here we go with verse 2.2 performed for you now. Coming out of verse 2.2, we're gonna go into the uh, second pre-chorus, which is pretty much the same thing as the first pre-chorus, except we're even doing less here. So there's no fill, there's no quick little fill to take us into the chorus. I didn't perform the first pre-chorus and I will not be performing the second pre-chorus. You just simply don't need it. It's too small a section to worry about. But with that being said, let's get on to chorus two. Chorus two is essentially the same thing as chorus one. We're gonna drop one of the fills, the end fill we're gonna drop that took us out of chorus one into the first post-chorus. We're gonna drop that and it gets a little bit simpler there actually in comparison to what we did in the first chorus and then what we replace it with is just kind of like a very simple quick little fill that will take us into the start of I guess like the b-side or extended chorus or bridge or whatever whatever we call it when we get there so here's chorus to perform for you now
The next section we come to is post chorus two. It's an extremely easy section. You could call this the B-side. I guess not really actually because it's not as long as it should be if it was a B-side. So we'll roll with post chorus two. That makes the most sense to me. It's just straight kick, kick, snare, kick, kick, snare. There's some shots on the snare and China real quick to take us over the center line. But outside of that, you just kind of get that down. And there's a quick little fill at the end that takes us into the breakdown inside of the bridge. So here it is performed for you real quick with pre-chorus two performed right now. Coming out of pre-course two, we're in the bridge breakdown. This breakdown, I have broken up into two sections itself. So we're just gonna go with breakdown 1.1 and breakdown 1.2. Starting with breakdown 1.1, there are some really cool intricate fills going on here. I think that I might have to take some of these into what the fill. So if you would like to see any of the fills throughout this song, make sure to let me know which fill and which section in the comments, and maybe we can get that in an episode of what the fill in the coming weeks. So here we go with the first half of the bridge breakdown. Bridge breakdown 1.1, performed for you right now. Coming out of that half, we're now gonna go into the second half, which is gonna be breakdown 1.2, and we're really playing essentially the same pattern. The biggest change is gonna be that we're now, instead of placing our right hand on the china, we're gonna be placing it on the right crash cymbal. And then we're keeping a very similar pattern on the feet, and then the fill to take us out is a shorter version of that earlier fill that we saw that transitioned us over the bar line as we went from 1.1 to 1.2 inside of the breakdown itself. So yeah, again, we're gonna see another sort of linear I guess a little bit more complicated fill for what we've seen so far in this song. If you'd like to see this fill or any other fill, as I've already mentioned, make sure to let me know in the comments and we'll maybe get the, some of those into an episode of What the Fill for the Future. Here, perform for you the second half of the bridge breakdown, bridge breakdown 1.2, right now. So coming out of the bridge breakdown, now that you have the entire bridge down, we're gonna move into chorus three. Chorus three, I am going to group with the outro as well. The outro essentially just acts as post-chorus three, but I'm just gonna call it outro because it's sort of the concluding section on the song. So um, we're gonna play through all of chorus three into the outro and then out of the song here in this next demonstration. And I guess the biggest reason why I grouped it together is because the first phrase, the first quarter of chorus three is a dropout and it acts kind of like a transition between the breakdown and the start 
start of chorus three where the instrumental hits again and we have drumming again. So because of that, we only have three phrases in what should be four for chorus three. And then we have two additional phrases at the end that makes for a total of six phrases, which is the same length as the chorus one and post chorus one put together. That's why I grouped it that way. No big deal there. I'm going to take you through where the drums kick in in chorus three all the way to the outro. The outro is a variation on the post choruses. They're very similar, but we have some new fills introduced here again. As I've been mentioning throughout, make sure to let me know which fills you'd like to see and what the fill. And here it is performed for you right now, chorus three plus the outro. All right, perfect. So there you have it. Congratulations on learning Hope by We Came As Romans. I really hope you enjoyed this lesson video. I really hope you enjoyed my cover on the song. Make sure to remember to enter in that Sweetwater giveaway in the description. If you'd like to connect with me further, you can do so by checking out my social media links on the screen for you right now, as well as in the description below. If you'd like to support the channel, there's a Patreon link and a merch link in the description. You can maybe pick up a t-shirt like this. Your support really does go a long way to help me continue to do these lesson videos. Just before I wrap up this video, I'm gonna leave you with this. Hey guys, so I really hope you enjoyed that video. I want to take a quick second to thank some of my larger contributing patrons. You all need to check out Justin Wonderlick or Wonderlick Drums. He is a fellow YouTube drummer who uploads drum covers very similar to mine. We share a ton of similar influences when it comes to music and style, and most of his covers are inside of the metalcore genre as well. You can find him by searching Justin Wonderlick or Wonderlick Drums on YouTube, or in a moment you can click through to his channel here on my end screen. Also, I want to leave a huge thank you to Alex Hernandez and Taylor Bradford. Alex is a Twitch streamer that goes by the name of Tequila Mockingbird. Alex primarily streams MOBAs and Battle Royales, games like Fortnite, PUBG, and League of Legends. His channel is live on Twitch four days a week from the hours of 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Make sure to check out his Twitch channel and Justin's drum page. You can click through both of them here at the end screen or you can check out the direct links in the description below. Thank you so much for checking out this video and I will see you guys all very soon with something new.